First shot of the day, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Sorry about that. I got excited. It's the first yard of the day. This yard here, we uh, did a landscape job. Obviously, you can see around the two trees. I talk about it after I get done mowing this yard. But there was a bunch of rocks and, like, landscape. We dug it all out, got rid of it, put down grass seeds. So my guy's mowing it. Getting it done for the first time. He's going to do the edges because it's starting to grow too thick. He's mowing that. This guy's 60 years old, still grinding. Um, I hope everything is well with you guys. It is packed. We are busy. We've added like 80 yards this week, <laughs> 80 yards this year, and we're up to like 247, 250 a week. Um, that's counting a big, big cemetery we do. So we are busy. We can't do any odd jobs right now. We're just pushing them off, pushing them off till the summer, till everything kind of slows down and ready to go. You got to charge cards. I talk about it after this video, but you have to charge cards. If you're not charging cards, I think your cash flow hurts. We require our customers. You cannot be our customer unless you give us your credit card or debit card information. And that's that. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Love you. Thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. If you don't do any of those, I still love you. Keep it real. Just finished our first yard. We did this job, there's a bunch of rock everywhere around both trees over there and then a little bit in the back. And um, grass came in pretty nicely so we cut some of it. That's why there's a bunch of straw everywhere. Hey, we got a busy day. First thing I wanna say, if you're not charging cards, if you're not requiring a credit card, you're missing out on cash flow, man. Missing out on cash flow. We did aerations last week. We're gonna get about $12,500 in our account next week not next week tomorrow friday from last week credit cards are huge you gotta start charging credit cards all right meet you at the next one let's go
Good leaders need to exhibit three important qualities. Number one, humility. Understanding your place in light of the bigger picture. I once read that at the height of the Roman Empire, certain generals were honored with a triumph, a procession of honor through the city of Rome, in which the general was preceded by marching legions, trumpeting heralds, and the enemies who had been conquered and captured in the victory. As the general rode in a chariot and was cheered by virtually everyone in the city, a slave held a laurel reef above his head to signify his victory. But as the procession continued, the slave had one additional responsibility. He was to whisper the following words into the general's ear. Remember, you are only a man. Leaders can start to think that everything is all about them, especially when their team or organization is winning. The greater the accomplishment, the greater the need to check their egos. That's why it's so important that they remain grounded. The most important quality of a well-grounded person is humility. Question for you guys before I end this video. I had to double cut that last yard. You saw it. Do you charge for that? Do you charge the customer an extra 10 bucks because it took you twice as much, twice as long? Let me know in the comments. Hey, subscribe, follow. We're growing. We've got about 400 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 1,000 before 2020s. 2021's over. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Keep it real.